Hi everybody, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. Today, we're doing an update on my foils project pan. This is a project pan no one asked for, but I needed to do it. So I picked out 15 foil packets out of my stuff and I am working through them. Full transparency, go for you would start. But I did, of course, all the low hanging fruit ones. So I have 15 foil packets in this project. I did put the shampoos and conditioners together just to make it easier because I figured I'd be using them at the same time. But let's show you my empties. And I'm not even gonna show you what I'm working on because basically nothing else is open at the moment. I have finished everything I've opened. I just need to open more. So first and foremost, shampoo is one I wanted to focus on, Orbe. This is the signature shampoo and condition, a daily indulgence. Um, three uses out of this one. So that took me, you know, a week and a half <laughs> to use. And I didn't notice anything special about this shampoo. Maybe that's just me, but it was like fine. It didn't weigh my hair down, but also didn't take all the oils out initially. And it didn't smell particularly good. And it seemed like a basic, super basic. $5 shampoo and conditioner from like anything that's unscented. So that I won't be purchasing. And then in terms of skincare, I've got the Grace and Stella Everything Better in Pink Boosting Eye Mask. Um, you know, really simple to do, just pop that on. Those I'm now learning based on how many eye masks that I've actually really enjoyed. Those aren't it. The shape doesn't fit right around my eyes. They don't stay on very well. That is not the collagen boosting eye mask that I want or need because it just is annoying to deal with. <laughs> um, but I still have like six more to go through. <laughs> Not in this project, just like in life. I might gift those away because I don't want to anymore. Um, Exuviance, the gentle daily exfoliating pads. There's just one in here. This one I thought did great. Uh, it's similar to the first aid beauty ones that I like. And this has PHAs, green tea, cucumber extract, vitamin C, and E, formulated to gently exfoliate and renew. And I thought it did that, if you could tell in one patch. But I have no qualms about what that one does. It didn't burn. It didn't, you know, I didn't peel or anything like that. It was perfect. Um, and then for In Beauty, the 10 by 10 moisturizer. This, I don't know. It was nice. I don't think it was like amazing. I got probably three uses out of this little guy too. Probably two and a little. I did put serum under one time and I did put serum under the other two times just to test it out. I thought it did a good job hydrating, but it didn't like, you know, sometimes you put something on and you're just like, yes, your skin just like loves it. My skin didn't react that way. I thought it was good. I thought it was fine. I thought it had a good level of moisture. I just didn't think it was like, my skin didn't scream. I love that. So it also did not screen that I love this one. This is a Tula Skin Care 24 seven moisture intense. There was just two in here. Um, this actually was not as intense as I was hoping it would be, which sounds weird. But when I hear like intense moisture, ultra hydrating day and night cream, I want it to be like thick, you know, like I want it to be like putting, I don't know, yogurt on my face. Like I want it so thick that, you know, you really have to rub it in. This didn't do it. Uh, it I thought it was like a standard night cream. I'm sorry, Dula. It's not that the product is bad. I do think it's actually a nice product. I like what the brand stands for. I just don't think that that um, is thick enough for winter for me. No, it's still summer. So of course it worked fine now, but if I want like an intense moisture, I want it to be like intense, you know, it just didn't get there and that's okay, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, last empty. Please note this is number six. Okay, six empties out of 15. We are right on track. And I'm not gonna finish this project print until I finish all 15. That's what I've decided. I'm gonna go do all 15 because I need to. So um, number six is the Collagen Spa Luxury Manicure Pedicure Collagen Serum Lotion in the scent Lemon Splash. Holy heck, this had a scent. This did not just have a scent. This had like an overpowering scent. Um, it was, uh, I think that if you're in a spa setting, it would be better rather than your bathroom because the scent was so strong, but also it had like a cooling effect on the skin. So it kind of like vibrated, but like tingle vibrate, you know? I don't know. This, it did smell good. It smells like lemon taffy so it smelled really good it was that sugary lemon scent i just didn't i didn't vibe with it 
I didn't vibe with it. I used it. I actually, there's a ton in here. Like there was a ton in here. So tell me how much is in here. I might not know. But like this had three full uses in it. And um, by the third time I was like, oh my God, I'm going to do this again. <laughs> I like didn't even want to use it, but I used it up just to get it up on. But that's it. Those are my six empties. Nothing here to write home about. The, my favorite was the exuviance. But uh, I'm going to throw away this trash and we shall move on to the next ones. I'm excited. I'm going to use Bakai, I think, next in the shower. I'm going to use the Palmer for the lotion. I have to use, I need to open up the Barbara Stern for like the face wash. I got stuff to do. I got to do them. I got to use my face mask here eventually. We're working on it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy panning. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.